Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm just out here in the workshop. I'm making Melissa a little stool for her feet. Uh, believe it or not when she sits on the toilet her feet don't hit the ground so she uh, likes to have a little stool. I built her one for the fifth wheel that right now she's brought into the house and she's using. And she said that one works just fine, but I want to make a different one, one that looks a little better, and then the one that I already made can stay with the fifth wheel. So right now it's just about six o'clock on a Sunday night, and I was sitting inside, and I had been doing stuff outside here today, and I'm just getting kind of bored. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna run out and make this thing right now. At least the top is getting there. That's kind of what I'm thinking in my mind, that that might look kind of cool. of this but I think all I want to do is round it because if your foot is sitting on the edge and you have any kind of uh, ridges on there eventually they're just gonna wear off I think I'm gonna go with this one here it does put an edge but it's down farther and I can actually hit this with the sander to just dull it up a little bit
trying to see if I like it with the legs in a little bit or out. It's too bad that this can't be more elegant, but it can't. It's such a small little bench, it, it'll flip over. You've got to have some weight to hold it down there so it doesn't get kicked all over. The other one I did, I have it just right on the edge. So I literally sat here and stared at this for at least 15 minutes. And uh, th this is too wide. This looks better. It wouldn't have to be this big around. But now I kind of have a different idea because, you know, I'm not going to be able to plane these down. They're too short to run through the planer. So anyway, it's after 8 o'clock, so I was hoping to get this done today. You <laughs> know, So much going into one little footstool for in front of the toilet. But anyway, we will finish this and we will get it right. We'll come back out and finish this another day. Well, it's the next afternoon and I'm out here and I actually did some thinking and kind of come up with an idea. So what I did is I have cut this much off of what was going to be the sides or the legs. So I've got both of them and then what I think I'm going to do is to carry some of that. It won't be this tall but um, something like this so I can bring some of the red into the sides. It thins it down but I still have a, a heavier base so it doesn't be, you know, it isn't super tippy. I'm thinking something like that. I think I'll get these fastened together. I think that's going to look a lot better than what we had before. My dad just stopped by for about a half hour and earlier this year, if you guys remember, he went bear hunting and got a bear. And uh, he just got all the meat back, so he brought me over a package of smoked brats, smoked brats with cheddar, and a thing of Thuringer. He got the whole thing made up into sausage or Thuringer, so I'll have to give that a try. I've had bear meat before. I liked it. I had burger, I think, and I think it was a small roast years ago, and it was pretty good, but I've never had the sausage, so I'll have to give that a try. Well, for this project, I'm putting no stain on it, and I'm using an oil-based polyurethane, and the reason why I'm going with the oil-based, it would have been nice to go with the water-based, because it dries so fast, but if you go with the oil-based, it gives the wood kind of a yellowish glow, and I really like that. The last project I did, I can't remember what it was, I didn't use that type, and for me, I can tell. My dad, he likes to use the crystal clear water-based, it doesn't yellow it. I like how it gives it a little bit of an, almost an older, richer look. I'm using a semi-gloss on this one. Didn't really want to do a high gloss, didn't want to do a satin, so I just went right in the middle. 
So, now that the boring part is all done, I can finally do this part. This is my favorite part, especially when we're using the aromatic cedar. because the color and the grain come out so nice. Well, now that, that first coat's on, it looks pretty nice. You can see how that uh, oil-based polyurethane has kind of yellowed the wood. It's made it look older. I mean, it doesn't look old, but it definitely has an old feel to it. Even by doing the screws, instead of doing everything blind and just gluing, uh, once I get that on there, if you look on here, around the edges, it's kind of dark, and it just kind of gives it an older look, even though it's a new piece of furniture. Well, I'll come back later and do a little light sanding on here after that first coat and then get a second coat on here. And I'm thinking after that, it's going to be pretty much ready to go. Well, it's about 9.30 at night right now. This is dry enough now that I can come in and put a second coat on. And uh, then I can go in and take a shower and get to bed. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I will see you guys on the next video.